Hello, my name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an EEM script, which is the Embedded Event Manager script on a Cisco 3850 to send out an email notifying you when the primary circuit for the IP SLA fails. So you'll get an email stating the circuit is down or up. And EEM is a very powerful scripting uh, manager built into all the Cisco devices. I'm still learning it and so this is just a simple script that's going to send us an email and you can use EEM to do all sort of things. Send you alerts, shut down ports, create, create uh, uh, secondary routes, if the primary routes fail, I mean you can do all sort of things. So if you remember from my uh, previous video regarding the IP SLA setup, in there we set up an IP SLA which pings Google's 8888 server and if it fails that's how it tracks it and it switches the route for, for us. Well we're going to revisit, we're going to redo the IP SLA because we need to add few more counters to that. So I'm going to go back into my switch and log in as config mode. Unfortunately I can't just bring up the IP SLA and add things. Um, you would have to undo the whole thing which I have and redo it from, from scratch. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to type in IP SLA 1, which we're in IP SLA mode, ICMP echo 8888, we want to pink, get replies from Google server, source IP I want to use is 10, 10, 10, 11, dot 2. And then frequency, we we'll want to use say five seconds. And then we exit out. And then we type in IP SLA schedule, IP SLA schedule one life forever. And it starts now and then what we need to do is if you remember this is where we stopped in my previous video which was more than sufficient but for uh, configuration purposes what we need to do is also add IP and never mind this this is from because I had to disable it and re-add what I'm about to add that's why we're getting this so IP SLA reaction configuration ID is one same ID we're going to be using throughout I want the react timeout threshold type to be immediate and then we type IP SLA enable reaction alert. What that's going to do is the minute it detects in, that the IP SLA went down, it's going to log it and we're going to base the script off of that, the syslog, and that's how it's going to prompt the alert, the email alert. Okay, so now, we, now that we've done that, I'm just going to quickly make sure that, okay, we're up. Okay, I was just checking to see if my track one was still there. Alright, so now that we've done this, and remember the only two things we add are just these two commands IP SLA reaction dash configuration one, react timeout threshold type immediate, and enable reaction alert. So now that we've done that, we go, um, what we need to do now is set up an environment. So we have to specify in the event manager the email server, email from, and email to. So for that, 
what we do is type in event manager and if you hit question mark it shows you everything that you can do within here now to, to start the actual script you're going to type applet um, detectors is everything that's built into this EEM that detects that, that, that it uses to detect uh, different types of events and IPS lay is one of them so we're good on a 3850 we're, we're, we're good to go what we need to do is look for environment because we have to set up our environment environment and here we have to specify underscore email underscore server and the uh, either the host name or IP address of your email server so in our case you know it's mail dot my domain dot com but what I've noticed is um, mail dot my domain dot com I'm not able to tell it from the switch. It doesn't like that. It does like the IP address. So some of you, the IP might work, and for some, for others, the host name may work. It's up to you. So you can you can just use the host name or the IP of your email server. Furthermore, we need to um, specify a username and a password. So for that, what you do is you type in a username. So Username, whatever your username is, colon, and then the password. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and then at mail dot my domain dot com. Okay. So what I I've already created a user called IP dash SLA colon. Okay. A, B, C, one, two, three at now like I said mine doesn't like the host name so I'm gonna use the IP address 10.10.30.90 and hit enter so that's our first uh, variable that we set up the second one is email underscore from well it's coming from IP dash SLA at my domain dot com and the third variable is email email to who's it going to well it's going to IP SLA at my domain dot com to show event manager environment all there we go as you can see I have my three in the three variables set up email server from and to and if you notice you got the username colon password and then the IP address of the mail server okay now that we've done that we go into the actual script so for that we have to type in event manager and if you remember earlier a question mark applet and we give it a name so for this one I'm going to call ISP check for example hit enter if you notice we're in the applet now so here we type in our um, type in what we want to send now it's a lengthy process I've created a script what, what, what you can do is just copy and paste that in there and what the script does is um, the following and let me show you that we're gonna well first things first um, we type event IP SLA so the event we want is the IP SLA operation ID one reaction type timeout and we hit enter okay because we're specifying to the applet that hey this is the event what we want which got recorded and now I want you to once it's recorded I want you to check and see 
if we're down or not. So the next thing it's going to do is we're going to copy and paste from the script. So the next thing it's going to do is we type action and we give it a sequence number. So in this case it's 1.0. It could be 2.0, 1.5, 1.8, anything you want. In our case it's action 1.0. If and this is the variable if IP underscore IP SLA underscore condition has occurred uh, is equal to occurred hit enter then I want you to wait eight seconds and then I want you to copy that syslog message that states primary internet circuit is down and then I want you to email that and all that's and all this says is mail server and it pulls up that variable which was the email server from the environment that we created so mail server and it's going to use that username and password email to it's going to use those variables and it's going to say email from it's going to use the same thing variables and the subject is circuit down and in the body it's all it says is primary internet circuit down that's all we're going to hit enter else primary circuit is up it's going to check it when the action comes back and says that the uh, primary circuit is up then it's going to send another email that says hey the circuit is up and once it's done then I want you to end the script simple so we set up our script that says circuit is uh, if we call the script IP, IP ISP check then we said hey look for that operation timeout value and then if it, it has occurred I want you to go ahead and uh, wait eight seconds and then execute this script and it's going to send the email simple as that and now we're done so the next thing we do is we test it